What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. John Krasinski has apparently met with Marvel Studios on future Marvel projects. We can all agree, the first thought that comes into our heads when we think of John Krasinski, the guy from The Office, a quiet place. We all think of one particular Marvel character. One Marvel character that hasn't been done in the Marvel Studios film slate hasn't been introduced. Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, part of Marvel's first family. Now, most of you probably don't know, he's already auditioned for a Marvel role. Yes, he lost out to Captain America, to Chris Evans. He auditioned for Captain America. Can you imagine if John Krasinski would have gotten the role as Captain, you know, as Captain America? I feel like it still would have worked. Fantastic actor. You know what I mean? But Chris Evans was born to play that role. He is Steve Rogers. But this very much excites me. This very much excites me for multiple reasons. Him and his wife, Emily Blunt, who could possibly play the Invincible Woman, Susan Storm. It just fits so well. And I'm not the only person who feels that way. Damn near every Marvel nerd out there, from Comics, Comics Explained to Emergency Awesome, all think that those two should be a part of Marvel's first family and introducing them to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the Fantastic Four. It could work really, really good. And it's so funny that this came out today. This was reported by the GWW that... Um, you know, uh, Krasinski had met with Marvel Studios about future projects. Just a couple months ago, you know, he announced that he didn't meet with Marvel. He hasn't met with Marvel with nothing. And apparently, just over a couple months, he must have had a talk with Kevin Feige about, you know, future projects. Now, the Fantastic Four will play a huge part in the MCU moving forward. Huge fucking part. Best believe that. Kevin Feige wants to get the X-Men and the Fantastic Four right well done in the marvel cinematic universe now i want to see reed riches the smart scientist the genius man he is in the mcu and i feel like john krasinski can really solidify and play that role in the marvel cinematic universe he could do it so well so well but how would they introduce the first family i know there's a lot of fan theory videos out there a lot of comic book nerds who are more nerds than me on you know more more backstory on the fantastic four they know all goods and all kinds of ways of how to, you know, intricate, intricately really introduce and put these people into the fantastic, uh, into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But I am so excited. I cannot wait to hear more news on who he could potentially be playing in the MCU. And like I said, Kevin Feige probably already knows. The word has been out. Fans want to see this man as Reed Richards. They really do. So why not cast him as Reed Richards? He's kind of in the perfect age too. And I feel like it would be really good. Really, really good. I want to see some space missions. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to get a correct origin story. Most people, well, some people probably say, no, don't give, don't do, don't do the origin story. We saw it with the, you know, the Fantastic Four in the early 2000s. You know, we saw it with the Fan Four Stick. Oh, the Fan Four Stick. <sighs> that movie. That movie. Hashtag release the track. Re release the trank. The, the, the Josh Trank cut, because we all know that his film was ripped apart too by the studios. We don't know what really happened. Um, but that film was a, a pile of utter bull, bullshit. It, it was just terrible, man. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like Johnny Storm, Michael B. Jordan. I, I just, that just didn't fit him in the role perfectly. I'm glad he got another shot as Eric Killmonger, you know, in Black Panther. Mm, pizza Chef, really happy about that. Uh, Dr. Doom in that movie was absolutely bullshit. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Oh, fan for a stick. Bad. Just bad. Um, but man, introducing, you know, like, you know, the, the the thing, you know, in the MCU, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, Ben Grimm. You guys already know my fan casting. I need Dwayne The Rock Johnson to play Ben Grimm. I need that, like, ASAP. That would be perfect. Only thing is, The Rock would have to go the whole motion capture performance. And I don't think he's done that before in his career. So that's going to be interesting to see, you know, if Marvel Studios has already talked. And the, he, the Rock has already had conversations with Marvel Studios. Multiple conversations of where, you know, where they can potentially meet in the same line 
and they can work together. We just don't know what. But if I had to cast The Rock, it would definitely be The Rock, hey, the, the thing, you know, in the Fantastic Four. And then for Johnny Storm, I definitely go with, you know, Dave Franco, somebody much younger, or old boy from Stranger Things, um, season two and three. Um, I forgot, I forgot his name. Oh my God. Drawing a blank, drawing a blank. He died at the end of season three, two, three. Damn, did he die? Yeah, he died at the end of season three. I'm tripping, tripping. But there's so much potential. There's so much potential to see, you know, how, how to introduce these characters and just the whole design and look of them. Oh my gosh, it would be so much fun to see, you know, a whole geeky nerd out with Reed Richards and Bruce Banner and Shuri, you know what I mean? All the, the tech people, the scientists, and just really dive deep into, you know, some of these characters and do it, do it correctly. Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom, give us Laveria. Yes, like something huge, but don't just have him in the first film and, you know, kill him off. You know what I mean? Don't make him the villain in one and two and three films. You know what I mean? Have that be a buildup. Have, you know, Dr. Doom be, you know, the much larger villain, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a team up for, you know, the, you know, Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Like, Dr. Doom should be a pivotal Thanos type, you know, villain in the MCU. You know, not just, you know, some one-off shit or some two-off shit. No way, man. Victor Von Doom is one of the greatest Marvel villains of all time. And he needs to be done right. And I can't wait to see the whole world of Laveria and Wakanda crashing. Doom War is one of the greatest comic books. If you guys haven't read it, Doom War before, it is so good. So good. Dr. Doom takes over Wakanda and it's like the most gangster shit ever. It is so good. Really good, you guys. And like T'Challa has to work with, you know, with the Avengers and Reed Richards. It's just, it's so, so intriguing. It was, it was a very, very great read. But I'm hyped. Like I said, if John Krasinski can land a role as Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four for Marvel Studios, Pizza Chef, Marvel Studios, perfect casting. And Marvel always has perfect casting. Legit, like legit, 98% of their casting calls are just phenomenal. Phenomenal. With an exception of fucking Terrence Howard. I actually liked Edward Norton as Bruce Banner. I really did. Um, but Mark, Ruff Mark Ruffalo was a great addition as well. They, they, they don't do me wrong. They don't, they don't do me wrong. And I feel like to be in a Marvel movie nowadays is the big thing. That's, that's what people want nowadays. But it's going to be interesting to see what really happens and what comes out of this. Well, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think John Krasinski has met with Marvel Studios for Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four? Please post your comments down below, you guys. And let me know your fan casting for the fan four stick in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Peace.